very well. If you're so keen on separating, fine. But remember, you suggested. I never said I wanted to separate from you. If I had, I wouldn't be here now. You, on account of your love for me, have tyrannized over me, bothered me, badgered me, knocked me for 15 years. You have interfered with me, taken my time and strength, and prevented me from accomplishing great works for the good of humanity. You have crushed my soul, which longs for serenity and peace with your perpetual complaining. But you see, my dear, I am more philosophical than you, and I recognize all this as necessary. Women are natural enemies, like cat and dog, only more so. They are forced to live together for a time, or this wonderful race couldn't go on. In addition, in order to have the best children, men and women of totally opposite temperaments must live together. The shock and flame of two hostile temperaments meeting is what produces fine children. Well, we have fulfilled our fate and produced our children. And they're good ones. But, really, to expect us to live in peace together, we, as different as fire and water, land that's too much